you're watching 8-bit days a week and here's another um, unboxing or uncarding of a toy and it's not a game related thing I guess and this time it this is masters of the universe he-man he the um, this is the uh, origins line that was recently released um, last year I guess and um, the thing is this has like another version if uh, I'm not mistaken it doesn't have the new 420 here and uh, so if you'll notice the face looks nothing like the well not exactly like the vintage line um, the hair is brighter and he looks less angry I guess <laughs> so the other one the like the revision had the classic toy line look and here's a look at the back of the card a very cool looking image there of uh, he-man i guess transforming battle cat cringer i mean to battle cat and i hope to get um battle cat next soon but uh, i don't know <laughs> i guess i don't have the budget yet um so the cross cells are all similar to skeletor this is the wave one i guess he-man tila man at arms skeletor and uh, evil Lynn, and beast man even the supposed features are the same you get the accessories and some articulation anyway let's go ahead and um uncard this thing i'll do the same thing I did with the, the previous toy that I released, so to speak. Oops. Oh, I think I cut something. So I didn't really plan to go back to collecting toys. It's just that this thing really resonated with me. <laughs> like being, as I mentioned, I think this is one of the, this is the toy line that my earliest, like the earliest I can remember playing with when I was a little. So the comic looks the same as uh, the one that came with the uh, Skeletor. Anyway, let's get to the main attraction. And yeah, I, uh, I hate these things that really keep them tied up, but I guess it's for their own safety, I guess. Okay, there we go, He-Man. Uh, it kind of looks like Ken, doesn't he, from uh, Street Fighter with the yellow hair, yellow blonde, I mean the blonde hair. And again, like um, Skeletor, we got the similar articulation with the shoulder, the wrists, the elbows, and you could just Oh yeah, I think the vintage line, like the original line, they do some movement with their, uh, I call it, on the abdominals there. And um, yeah, and this one can do more splits because I remember most of my Masters of the Universe figures before, like they have broken uh like their legs are always broken because of when like when we sit them on the wind grater or something and uh, hopefully this one doesn't break as easy <laughs> and uh yeah we still have the knee and um, ankle articulation and uh Again, they, they will actually look slightly taller than the 
like the vintage line because they can actually uh, stand up straight like that or straighter as opposed to the vintage line where they're all like in a, in a ready battle position like ready to pounce or something like that that's how they usually are like posed like in the original line so okay just make him well, they're kind of and uh, here we go here's the shield not like Captain America's here's the sword it's, uh, it has a nice sheen to it and as I mentioned this thing can combine with the Skeletor sword although as I mentioned about the revision earlier the revision actually has the like a full sword you don't have to combine it so that's interesting you get a for this one you get a new head but old sword but for the revision you get like an old head but the new sword you can have them all I guess you have to buy them twice here's the axe and uh, let's Put the sword there although i i don't really re remember in the cartoon he-man ever using that axe thing and here we go it still looks nice anyway to have him all have a lot of uh, weapons oh he's out of focus and here he is beside skeletor and Skeletor so yeah looks great um, it's not an exact look but I think this is a very well done update anyway and here's the combining sword I mentioned similar to black star the star sword and the power sword or at least that's what i remember it being called hmm. i don't want to put tape on that though but it's not really combined at the tip <laughs> uh, and yeah like i wish it has it has like a single color but i guess it has to fit with the character's color scheme and uh, that's it for this video i i don't think i would be comparing this anymore to the like the switch games i did on the previous video <laughs> because at least i have two figures now and um you're watching 8-bit days a week and uh, let me know what you think about these toy unboxing and who knows maybe i'll get some more maybe battle cat i'm hoping <laughs> thanks for watching